the oceans are in terrible shape, and uh, I think it's, uh, we can never say it's too late, but uh, I can tell you now that the oceans are depleted of fish, and that's the most striking thing. From my memories as a boy, the kind of ocean there was here is no longer there. You know, 25 years ago, there was a salmon derby in Vancouver, where people won hundreds of thousands of dollars in prizes for having the biggest salmon. Well, it was cancelled. Why? There were no salmon left. But to my daughters, who grew up after the salmon derby was cancelled, they don't even know that we used to be able to go out in English Bay and catch salmon. You see, things are shifting and the young people don't have any memory. The oceans are depleted of fish. And uh, I feel guilty when I go into the oceans now and catch a fish. Even though the law says I can, I know they're in trouble. So that's a big challenge, and it's going to be centuries before they ever, if they ever come back to what they were. We've had the experience in Newfoundland in 1992 when the government finally admitted there aren't northern cod there, and they declared a moratorium on all northern cod caught around Newfoundland. 40,000 people thrown out of work overnight. We thought they would come back in two or three years. Well, it's been 18 years, and guess what? They're not back. There are fewer now than there were in 1992. Those cod are never going to come back within the memory of people uh, today. So we've got some real problems. The bluefin tuna are never going to come back. The swordfish, we've just depleted the oceans. My prediction is within five years, we're going to be eating jellyfish because that's going to be about all that's left. The oceans are filled with dozens of areas that are so polluted, we call them dead zones. They're deprived of oxygen and nothing can live in there. The size, the number, and the areas where they're occurring is increasing all the time. We are, have islands of plastic from the garbage that we've thrown into the ocean, bigger than the state of Texas. What are we going to do with those? Because the plastic breaks down into little pieces called nurdles, and turtles, birds... Uh, fish are programmed to eat things when they're a certain size. They're filled with plastic. So we've got to get rid of those islands of plastic and stop using the oceans as a dump. And then the big joker is that because we're adding so much carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, we now are building up carbon dioxide levels that dissolve in the oceans as carbolic acid. We are acidifying the oceans with a ecological effects, we have no idea. 